Right, we're currently at 700 metres. Um, the wind has been estimated at 60 to 70 mile an hour at 900 metres. And this is what I'm driving through. What do you think to that? Should I put my gloves on? <laughs> so, from a personal point of view, again, how you hold your axe, you. from a teaching point of view, I've got into the habit of carrying my axe, how I teach people the easiest way to look after themselves. Because people see someone working doing it, and go that must be the way to do so i might might even just be lazy walking down the axe because i'm giving my hand a rest right um so discipline so that people see so i teach people axe in uphill hand point yeah. facing back backwards so i teach that right but that is what's taught in the alps so it's not wrong it's just different okay different circumstances because in the alps can you hear me all right there yeah in the alps there's more chance of you slipping and going forward than so you your axe in. Right, okay. So what's the leash for then? The leash comes into it. I, for when you cut the steps, it's really useful. It takes a lot of pressure off your arms. Does it? Yeah. And it also stops you losing your axe. Um, but I like for not having the leash on. Um, so I just want you to go up and down this slope and just see, try plunging your axe for support. Try you pick different ways round how you hold it all right and just see what feels what's different so with that pick are you expected to be on hands and knees at that time or is that if it's a bit steeper than it is um so sorry. i was on an avalanche awareness course at the lodge an advanced one um earlier on in the season and so i was an actual client I was walking and someone else was front pointing with an axe in. So it comes down to what you're comfortable on. There's no wrong way to do it then, basically. No. If you feel uncomfortable, and I go up some days, and each day is different. I might go up some days, I might be feeling strong, I feel really confident in my feet, the conditions we've got, and I'll just walk up a slope and I'm using the point of my axe just a bit of support. Other days, I might be going, Actually, this is a bit what this, and I'm going to go a long way if I slide. And I might turn the front point and dagger them just to give me that bit more security, right? So, again, no right and wrong. So, on this course, there was a gentleman literally front points, daggering, tried to use his other hand as well in the snow, and other people walking, and he was going up. Wasn't that confident coming down really confident? So it just really comes down to you, the person. Right. Um, if you're working or you're out with friends, uh, and for you, from a winter health perspective, if somebody looks slightly wobbly, or you're thinking they've not filled me with confidence, even on this, get them to face in with a cramp on. I know we haven't got any odds because that is a slip here, turns to that, and you've got ah, cramp on. Ah, a slip here with a high, with high centre of gravity could turn into a tumble and a fall. Right. So it gives you a good bit of a little safety net. So yeah, just have a go up and down, see what you think, plunging the axe for balance, different ways to try, stamping your feet in.
Good. Go for it once more. Get a bit more speed. Not bad. That's it, lift them legs up. Juttery, but I felt like I got the axe in the right place. Yeah. You'll be able to know more than I do. That was just a feel. Yeah. Brilliant. But it looks very like you had control there, and I felt like I didn't have control. Yeah, so it's getting control, isn't it? Even if you're going quick. Yeah, yeah that's good, isn't it? Yeah. I felt like I got in the right place then. 